Hi, I'm Nemrit. And I'm Svenny. And I'm Sarge. And you're watching Battle Gamer News. And today, we're discussing the Sony iToy, Wii Motion Plus, and Project Natal. For those of you that don't know, the gaming industry has moved dramatically in the past few years, starting with the Wii towards motion controls. Microsoft has a new attachment for the Xbox 360 called Project Natal. Basically what Project Natal is, is a souped up camera that can detect your motions and track you in 3D. Nintendo is also working on an advancement for the Wii console called Wii Motion Plus. Basically, this is an attachment at the end of your Wiimo that gives you more precise controls. Sony is also working on an attachment for the PS3 called the Sony iToy. Basically, this combines video motion capture with a special wand similar to the Wiimo. Now, what I really want to talk about today is which of the three is going to be the clear winner in uh, the competition between the three. I mean, they're all combining the original consoles with uh, motion control, which the Wii kind of started with, but it didn't do very well. Now, I think that Project Natal is the clear winner, but I kind of wanted to hear your guys' thoughts. I really think that Project Natal is the best, but it seems that Sony, the Sony one is actually pretty promising. I agree. I think the Sony product is mo far more um, accurate than the Wii's, and that looks promising to me. But one of the main problems I see uh, coming out of the Natal is that it's got so much expectation for it, I don't know if they'll be able to pull through all the way. Like, uh, they have the, the Milo demo and some other things that there's links for in the sidebar if you want to check out. But I don't think they're going to be able to pull through on all of these things because as ambitious as it may be, the technology for this stuff just doesn't seem yeah. to be there yet. Each game for the Natal is going to have to be extremely complex just to fill the basic needs as we saw in the Milo video. I see a lot of things that the Natal can do, but I think they're going to have the same problem as the Wii, where they're going to have a certain number of games that use the Natal function, but you can only go so far with that. I mean, how many uh, Wii sports games can you make? Then you just start having games like all the others that just use the, the basic controls. So I don't know how many games this is actually going to be able to work with. It has been a big problem that the Wii doesn't y use its, uh, its capabilities as much as it should, but hopefully this will make it a little bit better even though it doesn't seem like it's any better than the other ones. Oh, with the Wii Motion Plus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about the Wii Motion Plus, actually. It's pretty much a continuation of the Wii, slightly more upgraded. I think the Sony iToy will be more successful than the Wii because the Wii can be oversensitive and inaccurate at times, which I saw wasn't really a problem with the Sony iToy. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, Sony iToy videos, and uh, it did look a little more fluid than the Natal. Like, people were able to adapt to using a controller much faster than they were their body parts. Now, I don't know if this is just because people are used to the Wii by now, or if it's just because the Sony iToy is a little more accurate. Really, we can't guess at that, because while we've got a lot of video of the Natal, seeing a bunch of people playing it, like, uh, I saw uh -huh. Jimmy Fallon and even a whole bunch of internet celebrities were playing it, the Sony iToy really hasn't been used. I don't think they're as far in development yet, so we really can't judge as far on the Sony iToy yet. So, so far I think we can all agree, uh, at least for the most part, if Project Natal can pull through on all of its objects, Project Natal is looking like the, the best, best uh, yeah. if it works. Now that's a big if, because they are promising a lot of things. I don't know if they'll be able to pull through on those. I'm also looking forward to the Sony iToy and Wii Motion Plus, so we'll just have to see how those play out. Now I want to talk about something that a lot of people are talking about now. If this is the direction that game companies are going to go in, if this is a profitable choice, a lot of people are saying, no, this is going to be awful because uh, gamers are going to not want to play these games anymore. They want to play something that's accurate, they want to play shooters, they want to play something they can sit on their couch and relax. Like with the controller. Yeah. yeah. We saw the Wii was actually sold to a lot of people uh, looking for things like the Wii Fit and Wii Sports, even older or way younger audiences. So they're hitting different different audiences than the traditional uh, teenagers to young adults. It's clear that these products are definitely uh, targeted at a different audience. I think that video game system developers are going to keep going in this direction because it's profitable and it's the gamer's dream of being able to actually be in the game. Unfortunately, I agree with that. I mean, I love the old controllers, but I think they're making more money in this new field and they'll continue to make money. It just kind of seems like the logical advancement. I mean, games have evolved as we've gone. We went from the, the big single joystick um, input commands to more complex controllers, and this just seems like the increasing complexity of it. I'm not sure if this is the direction we should be going, but it seems like the direction they are going. I think that there is its uses for motion sensors like this, but I still think that controllers, you can never really replace that, in, in such as shooting games, FPSs, and maybe even RTSs. It should, it's, it's a lot easier that way. Speaking of that, uh, not only are developers going to go in this direction, do you guys think that developers should be going in this direction? Well, I really hope that they decide to meet the demands of both markets. 
I'm sure they will because they like money. <laughs> and gamers really like controllers, so I hope they stay in both fields and keep them separate. I'm sure they can integrate them at times, but I really hope they keep both tracks open. So you're saying instead of things like the Wii, where they're entirely devoted to motion controls, you want things like the uh, future Xbox 360 that will have motion control and controller. Yeah, inputs. I'm looking forward to the in this hall because it keeps both things. I think in order to maintain the hardcore gamer crowd, uh, companies are really going to have to stick to the uh, traditional controller inputs. Because let's be frank, people have spent large and I mean massive portions of their life getting good at these controller games, being absolutely excellent. They like to be the best. And when you get to something like motion control, it's just not accurate enough. You can't be the best 100% of the time at motion controls because you're moving around. It's not a separate skill from activities. It's sort of like sports. There's something you have to develop, while controllers are an entirely different skill set. So having these two separate skill sets, that means people that used to be really good at games are going to suck if we go to all motion controls. That's one of the biggest problems with motion controls, is that, is that they're not accurate enough to really have a good gaming experience, but hopefully they will go in a direction to make it more accurate and that you can really do what you want to do without having to sit through all the crap and just mess up a lot. One thing I experienced with the Wii is I don't really use games like Wii Sports and Wii Fit to supplement my actual video game time. I don't take time to play Wii Sports out of the time I set aside to play video games. I take it out of the time I would be doing something else, like, I don't know, watching TV or maybe even exercising, because it's most similar to exercising. So maybe motion controls should be regarded not as the evolution of video games, but as the evolution of indoor exercising or indoor activity in general. A completely different activity, like TV or the internet, would be... Yeah, motion controls have almost evolved into an entirely different medium. It's almost uh, eerie how, how it's become two separate things. And I think in the future, they will be regarded as two separate things. There will be console video games and there will be motion controls. They're just different activities. The direction that I really want motion control video games to go in is into normal video games, like shooters and stuff like that. I don't, want, I don't think the sports gamer is much fun. Okay, so I kind of see where you're going with that. Um, motion controls, ga motion control games are almost regarded as something entirely different from video games, but you think they should be go in the same direction? I think they should go in the direction of most normal games right now, instead of just like Wii Sports, Wii Fit, all those things where that you're just you're just hitting a baseball or something. I motion controls are almost specifically for sports games, and I think they need to be integrated into RTSs and shooters, and those fields that most gamers play. Mm -hmm. So now you've got our opinions, check out the links in the sidebar and form your own and see what this technology can do. Thanks for watching Battle Gamer News, subscribe and check back every week for more videos. Bye.